You know, I could probably handle this myself. Let's say we grab a beer in a few hours. Catch up. <laughs> so, I I have played. Finished a game, guys. <laughs> finished Holy a shit. whole game. <laughs> 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 finished a game. Um, so I have played Fran Bow. Well, there we go. <laughs> silence. There we go. That was it. <laughs> what is a Fran Bow? <laughs> So, Franbo is the name of a little girl <coughs> whose story you follow. Um, it starts off at like first five minutes, it opens up, and the, the intro is all black and white. Okay. All hand drawn, very beautiful. Um, it is beautiful, but it's kind of not. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you, the story opens, and the story opens with a murder. Okay. Like all good. All good games! Yeah. Um, and it's the the parents of this little girl. Okay. Um, and so you follow her story um, where she ends up in a, a mental institute for children mm-hmm. and has to try and get out because she lost her cat, Midnight. So you go on a mission to go find Mr. Midnight. Wait, so she loses her parents, then loses her cat? Yeah, so they wow. take Mr. Midnight away because she has to go to the special home because she can't be trusted. Um, they, they section her, basically. Sure. Um, so it seems very dark, um, and yeah, it, it's pretty dark at times. Um, so you get through the initial puzzle start, and then you, everything starts to open up for you. And you get these red pills, which you'll get better pills. Mm-hmm. So they, these are the pills that are supposed to make you make you better, like antidepressants. Right. So, type thing. But when you take them, the world changes. Like antidepressants, then. Exactly. They just suppress it, depression. They suppress it. What they have done, what what the developers have done with that game, it, personally for me, how I've seen it, is taken a mental mental illness, mental mm-hmm. health, depression, or any pretty much any any of those sorts of um, mental health conditions that can make you see the world in a different light. When especially when you're on the medication that they they can put you on. Um, and that you're forced to take in certain situations Mm -hmm. and how you see the world Uh, and it's absolutely insane to say it's all it's all cartoon it's all like hand-drawn you take a pill the world completely changes from being the normal that you would expect to red pill right a red pill not the blue pill not the blue pill i can't remember which way around it is in the matrix (laughs) definitely a red pill you get yellow pills at one point so, um, this red pill that you take, um, and it's it turns into like a horror scene, um, and you, you've got this enemy called the Spectre, and the Spectre's trying to kill you. Mm-hmm. So all of a sudden, you you will literally take a pill, everything's normal. You take a pill, and the scene just goes black, but within a split second, it changes and it goes. And it makes this noise, and I, I couldn't watch every single time. Every oh. single time I took a pill, I could I had to close my eyes. Right, as so you go, Spectre. Off. No, he doesn't. <laughs> but you, do. you close, you close your. I had to close my eyes because I couldn't bear to watch what was going about to pop up on my screen. So oh, like right. there was at one point you had to do a puzzle within a certain amount of time, otherwise this kid's head exploded. Damn um, nice. There's um there's a scared of shit right there. <laughs> there's a set of twins that are conjoined. Mm-hmm. There's, um, then you, you find an ally a little bit later on, but you don't know whether to trust him because of everything that's happened before. You, you have to kill somebody's pet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you, you know, it's very, very dark. <laughs> yeah. Very, very wow. dark. But because all you want to do is get Mr. Midnight back. Um, and the story hooked me so much, and I will admit this, that I had to get a walkthrough up. Wow, okay. To play it because I really wanted to see the rest of the story. So you know how you claimed earlier I, I actually cheat, finished yeah. the game, yeah. yeah you, you... I cheated. Yeah. But that's the right kind of cheating, not I yeah, didn't but... look have a story walkthrough, I had a puzzle fixer. So I had something to tell me what the answers to the puzzles were. <laughs> Um, I've downloaded software to puzzle fixing yeah. it. Does any fucking puzzle you want in a game? Silent Hill, that fucking piano puzzle. <laughs> fucking sort you out, mate. No worries. Puzzle fixer. All right, it's like downloadable RAM. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the um, I, I've, it's a point and click. Uh, so 
I've played it on PC. It's also on um, mobile. Okay. So because it's point and click, you don't need a controller yeah, yeah, or anything. Um, so it's on uh, Android and Apple. So you can get it either way. Um, and obviously on Steam. Uh, they're actually bringing a new game out as well, the developers, and I can't remember their names, but um, they're doing something similar. Uh, so I'm excited to play that now because I've done Frambo, I want to play it again, mm-hmm. I want to play something else. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it's just an awesome, awesome little point and click. It's probably about three, four hours long. Okay, maybe that's five. Not, so nice. um, not, not overly long, but yeah, story hooked me. I was straight in, and at the start of each chapter, you go back to this black and white scene. Okay. which is all kind of hidden it's not as detailed because it tells you the story and then you go into the, the detailed side and you go and try and work out what the heck you need to do in four different what dimensions that you try and work in <laughs> wow it's, it seems like it's a very interesting take on psychosis and that type of uh, that sold me on it I'm curious especially it's on my phone I can get it I can get, yeah. yeah play it on the go yeah. you know I think they are trying to get it out on switch okay um, but it's not out there yet. But you know, if you can get it on your mobile, most people have got mobiles, tablets. It's it just it freaked me the heck out, freaked me out. But I don't only like horror games and thrillers. So other than Dead by Daylight, I think <laughs> we're reaching a point in gaming now where it is starting to be a bit more mature. Well, in certain aspects, like indie games, especially hitting a kind of mature level. I mean, AAA is like to be mature, but it's like you know how much can you fist someone into the brain experience? again it's the, it's, it's the not mature it's to advertise to kids to think it's mature so kids will go and buy it because you can fist someone and the head explodes yeah but like, an, an adolescence ideology of yeah. mature as opposed to dealing with complex and, and interesting and, and disturbing yeah. subject matters yeah um, like you know near all this game or um, Send your sacrifice all that type of stuff yeah you know, you know things I mean? like alone in the um, into the woods or celeste do with yeah those things as well as so yeah. it's it's a great time for gaming to be able to go in and do those sort of those games of uh with complex subject matters um to open people's eyes to, to the world that's around them 